Hi, and welcome back to the Austin Thomas Films YouTube channel, where I'm starting to make Blender tutorials and visual effects content, so if that sounds interesting to you, definitely stick around and I'll go ahead and get started. So if you're a Blender user, you're probably familiar with Blender's main render engines, uh, Cycles, which is its uh, photorealistic ray traced renderer, and Eevee, which is a more real-time cartoony render engine. But the thing about Eevee is there's this really beautiful light bloom effect that I've always really liked, and I thought, you know, wouldn't it be great if there was a way to take the light bloom effect from Eevee and uh, the, the photorealism of Cycles and just mash them together in some sort of, uh, some sort of combination. So that's what I'm gonna do today. We're gonna go ahead and get started and I will show you uh, my solution for getting the light bloom effect in cycles. If that sounds interesting to you, keep watching and I'll show you how I do it. So you finished your beautiful Batmobile driving through Gotham City animation and you've rendered it out in cycles and now you're ready to start adding that EV light bloom to all your light sources. So the first step here is by far the most important and that's to stop what you're doing and go up to file, save as, and save this out as a new project with a different name so that you don't lose any of your work. I'm just gonna call this light passes and hit save as. And next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this uh, rendering tab here and I'm gonna switch this from cycles to EV. And then I'm going to go down to the light bloom and just make sure that that is on. And you can see the difference that that makes. Uh, it makes it look way cooler. And essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to replace the materials on all the objects in our scene with a material that is completely black. Uh, something that doesn't let in any light whatsoever. There are no reflections. It's going to be completely rough. And uh, we just, the only thing we want visible are our light sources that we want to have light bloom added. So I'm gonna go down here to the material properties and I'm just going to click this plus button to create a new material and I'm gonna hit new. And I'm gonna call this Vanta Black because it sounds cool. And also that is the material I think that doesn't allow any light inside of it. It's like 99% dark or something. So uh, yeah, that's essentially what we're trying to create here is a, is a black hole. So I'm going to go down to the base color and I'm going to drag this all the way down to zero. And then I'm going to scroll down and find roughness and we're going to drag this all the way up. So it is just uh, completely rough. Uh, that, that means there's, there's not going to be any glossiness. There's not really going to be any reflections. And we also want to drag the specular all the way down to zero here. Uh, make sure, I guess, just make sure that metallic is turned down to zero as well. And uh, th this should be good. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start deleting my textures out of here. So you can see this uh, city texture one here. I'm just going to delete that uh, so that the only thing that's left is this Vanta black texture. So I'm going to hit the, the minus button here to get rid of that. So now I'm just going to start selecting objects in my scene and finding this Vanta black texture I created and then just replacing all the materials with that. And you can see as I'm doing this, it's, uh, it's just turning all these things completely black. This is a really tedious process, and you might be wondering why you can't just disable all the objects in your scene from rendering, because that, that would work, and that would get a, a similar result, but uh, the, the difference here is that if anything uh, occludes your light sources, um, it's going to create a problem. So, like right here, when the Batmobile passes behind this truck, uh, that light source is occluded. And if we just deleted this truck from the scene, uh, we would still be rendering this light bloom here, which isn't what we want. So I'm just going to undo that. 
Um, but you can see that if I take this truck and instead I add my Vanta Black texture, suddenly uh, this is completely dark, but it's still occluding the light source like it like it does in our final render, which is exactly what we want. I'm just going to keep going and add this to all the objects in my scene, and then I will check back in later. Okay, so here's my scene with all of my objects uh, with that Vanta Black material we created. And you can see I, I missed a few things here and there, but uh, for the purpose of the tutorial, this will be fine. Essentially, all we have to do now is just render this out. So I'm going to go back up here to my render properties, make sure I'm an Eevee with Bloom turned on, and then I'm going to go to the output properties. Uh, whatever, whatever frame rate your cycles render is uh, should be right here. And then uh, let's see, I'm going to render out a PNG sequence, uh, RGB, and I'm going to just create a place for these files to live. I'm just going to call this tutorial light pass and hit accept. Now we're ready to render our EV animation, so I'm just going to hit Control F12 and let this go. And it should render really fast because uh, EV is a real-time renderer, and this shouldn't take very long. Okay, so it looks like my render just finished, so the next step is I'm going to open up After Effects. Uh, you can really use any compositor you want. You could use HitFilm, you could use Nuke, you could even use uh, Blender's own built-in compositor. I'm sure I just, I don't have any experience with that. But I'm going to use After Effects, and I'm just going to go ahead and make a new composition here. I'll make this 1920 by 1080, uh, frame rate 24, the duration will change later, and this should be good for now. So first things first, I'm going to import my cycles render. So I'm just going to select the first frame of that and shift select the last frame and then click PNG sequence and import. I'm just gonna right click and make a new comp from selection. All right, and if I go down here and I click fit up to 100%, we can see uh, exactly how the cycles render looked. And you can see there's no light bloom. There's uh, just, you know, here on the, here on the uh, cop car, there's like no glow. So it's a little bit dull looking, but uh, when we add our Eevee render, and I'm gonna go to tutorial light pass and shift select the last frame and then PNG sequence and import. So I'm gonna drag our EV render down on top of our cycles render down here. And then I'm going to go to the normal here and change that to screen or add. Uh, probably either one of those would be fine. And there you have it. We've got this beautiful EV light bloom on top of our cycles render. I, hopefully this was a little bit easy to understand. Uh, I know it was a little bit drawn out, but really when you follow the steps on your own from start to finish, it doesn't take that long. So uh, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video, just give me a like and a subscribe and just stay tuned for more. I will be making these Blender tutorials as often as I can and I appreciate your support.